for everyone who went to sleep over the past 14 weeks. I knew our babies were going to go right back to business as usual. So now we are presented with a unique opportunity and it's a finite opportunity because while we're in a modicum of self-isolation, we can find our backsides collaborating in the schools, the industry pipeline. So when the government asks us, central government, let's not waste time with councillors or any of these small funding agencies who can't do anything for us and have no agenda to. We have more leverage than we're going to have at any stage in history. What we're going to do after we finish marching, we're going to tell them. We want one million for a pilot to give 18 organisations 50,000 UK pounds sterling to capacity build and train facilitators who are culturally competent to deliver in every single area that these young people need engagement. It's not going to come from anybody else. They don't care. They're not culturally competent. We have a unique window to gain parity with every other ethnicity based on our organisation now. I closed my shop on the 13th of March. On the 14th of March, I sat at my desk from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., five days a week, creating the structures, making the phone calls for delivery partners. Yet we are three million in the United Kingdom, so we always need more qualified and culturally competent delivery partners. Europeans are no longer our problem. We are in our apathy. In that our babies are dying and it's become normalised. Well, you know what? We had a hiatus from it and we forgot just how heinous it is when a family is ruined because a life is stolen. There's no sense in me speaking to young people with no house training, who've got no code, no self-respect whatsoever, that they try and barge into somebody's house to kill a young man in, trying to burst past his mother over a £90 weed debt. So it's clear our young people who are criminalised have no house training. See, it's not the fact that the vast majority of our children are beautiful and doing exactly what they're supposed to. It's those who are on the fringes that we need to circumvent from getting to that position. And that's done with early intervention, rites of passage, mentors in the school, having the correct advocates to go into the school and protect them against the school because everything decent in them is stripped away by the time they get to the age that they can take somebody else's life. And we're responsible for that. We have a unique window to organize. And if it's not this, like Dave Chappelle said, rat tat 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 we're getting right back to business as usual. But let me ask you a question. Are you prepared to lose your child?